Alright, we back. Time to learn Thune, a character I'm very familiar with. Very familiar with. He's actually my main. So, let's start with his strings. Start with the full strings. Uh, let's list all of them real quick. Okay. So you got your 112, uh, your 112, yeah, which is your punish string. One one into something, so you can one one uh, into back forward uh, two, which is good. Um, so you got that. That's your punish string. But really, your punish string is going to be this. When you got your crushing blow for it, it's going to be this, because it is a crushing blow on punish. So someone's doing some bullshit. They, you know, they do something unsafe. One one hold back two. It punishes for about a 26-29% combo uh, for the crushing blow. And then you got um, back 1-2, which is going to be your main combo string. Uh, your main combo starter. And then you got 2-4, two, two, up 3, uh, 2, which is very weird for me. I've never hit this in-game because it's such a weird string to me. Uh, but it, the final hit is an overhead there. Um, so that's good. And then you got your forward 2-1, which is your low. And you can end it in up 2, uh, which is a mid. And kind of a launcher. Not really. I don't think you can combo off of it. Then you got your main mid-screen, anti-air, and long dick fucking with punish move. Or just catch them not blocking move. Uh, which can go into pretty much any special move you got if you catch them at, you know, except for this one. Uh, if you catch them at max range. Yeah, it can pretty much go into anything you got. At, uh, full, full range. Almost. Maybe not so much. Combos into that, which you're gonna wanna use a lot. And then you got your low uh, starter, which is forward four one three. Okay, so those are his strings. Let's check out his safe and plus strings real quick. So this is actually unsafe. This is plus. This is plus seven. Um, this is safe. This is plus four. This is safe. Safe, and this is safe. So all these are. This is plus. So it's got some knockback to it. Let's check it out real quick. Turn the AI on block to do all this. This is plus. It's got some knockback to it, but you're plus seven. So if you do something like this, uh, you're plus seven. You can go into your. If they want to try to press buttons after it. Um. This is plus seven. Shit. So if they want to try, it's got some not back to it. If they want to try to press button, you can go into your one one two again. Um, or your six x plus seven going to back one. It makes that start up six frames. If my math's right, so something like this. And you're almost in max range to be able to do it. It makes that six frames. Um, uh, a six frame interval of when they have time to press buttons. So if they try to do a down one, it's getting beat by this. I don't mean that makes that move actually six frames. It means that by, before they have time to press any button, no button that they have is going to be out a six frame back one with the reach of that. So something like this, their down one's not going to beat you out on anything that you do. Their standing one's not going to beat you out. It doesn't actually make that a six frame move it just means that it's got a six frame less startup from what they can do so they have to have a six frame move to even interrupt you doing anything there and it's got to be a six frame move that has some reach to it it keeps them from pressing buttons for seven frames which means you basically don't have a startup of 13 on that anymore. It's basically a startup of 6 uh, by the time they can press buttons again.
so that's good. Frame data is fucking difficult. Um, this is plus two, so you can down one there, no problem. Unless they have a five frame down one, they ain't beating you. And they ain't interrupting it, they're getting hit there. And if they want to stand and do something, you can go back in the one, stagger it, and it makes, I mean, and again, unless they have something that's five frames, they are not beating it. Then you have your 2 4, which is minus 5, so you're safe on this. Um, I just block. Uh, because no down one's going to hit you afterwards, just block on it. And then you have this, which is plus 4, his weird string. Uh, so they can't really do anything. You're plus four. I mean, you can try to go into something like this, but at that point, uh, they can't interrupt you. Um, they can't, blah, blah, blah. they can't interrupt, uh, your back one if they wanted to, if they had the reach. Uh, but if they're just trying to press random weird buttons off of that, your back one's gonna hit. Uh, cause you're, you're at max range, max range for it. So you're plus four there. Uh, you can also go into your standing 3, which has a startup of 12. So if that's plus 4, it would make it... They have to use an 8 frame move to try to do anything about it. Ah, shit. I don't even know if you're in range to be able to do that. Oh, you are. That's just at max range for it, which is great. We'll crack a pop real quick. Give me just a second, brothers and sisters. Um, and then you have your forward 2-1, which is minus 6, so you're safe. Uh, 6 frame down 1 can punish you, but they can't do off anything off the 6 frame down 1. It's also a low, so it's nice. And then you got your forward 4-1-3, which is, again, just safe. They can't punish you with anything but a 6 frame down 1. Uh, so those are all good. Uh, let's take a look at his standing frame, his standing one button frames. Uh, his standing one's a start up a seven minus four, so you're safe. His forward or his back one is uh, minus eleven, so you're unsafe. People stagger it a lot. Uh, it's hard to actually punish, um, but you know you're you're not safe there, and it's got a start up a thirteen, uh, so pretty good start up. Pretty good long startup. You got a seven frame down one with him, and it's minus four, so you're safe. You can just, like every other down one, pretty much. Uh, your standing two is a startup of ten, and it's minus nine, so you're unsafe. It's a nice old molly walk. Uh, your forward two is a startup of sixteen, and it's minus eight, so you're definitely going to want to go into the low after that. Um, you're down two, you got a startup of ten, you're minus nine, so you're crushing blow two. It's pretty good anti air too. Uh, I've noticed it's a fairly decent anti-air. Um, you got your chain poke, which is start up at 12, minus 8 on block. Uh, you're not safe on it, but you're not also ridiculously unsafe, especially at the range you're going to be throwing it out, which is about right here at max range. Uh, or at the start of the match, which is about right here. You're going to be using it. Uh, you got your standing 4, which is start up at 13, and your neutral on block. So you're both even. Uh, you're back to minus six. Really good move in the neutral, actually. It's a double low. Uh, and it's a pretty good distance low. I mean, you can hit it from right fucking here. I mean, which is almost longer than that, but it's not. To hit the double low, you gotta be up on them. But, I mean, that ain't, that ain't a bad back four. Uh, it's minus six, so it's safe, too. You can just throw that shit out. Um, you got your forward four, which is start up at 12, minus seven, so you're just barely... You can get hit. You can get hit with a down one, staggering that. I mean, it's a one-frame thing, but... Uh, you got your down four, which is start up at 11, minus, uh, minus eight, so you're unsafe doing that, but just barely. Again, one-frame link. Uh... Alright, so now let's take a look at his special moves, his theme. Right. And we'll keep his comboing moves up, his starters and his combo moves. Um, 
Punishing will be back one two. Your punish. Uh, your forward two one. This is gonna be your converter, and your low starter. And I think that's about it. Uh, so you're back one two. Oh yeah, kind of tank them off, mock real quick. Your back one two is gonna be your main combo starter. Uh, because it is a overhead mid, especially in this variation, you have your mix-up, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is going to be your main combo starter, and your 2-4 uh, is going to be your main... Uh, sorry, I put the wrong thing on. 2-4... What the fuck? What am I doing? Here it is. Your 2-4 is going to be your main combo... combo uh, carry. I don't know what it's actually called. But it's going to be the main move that you convert combos with, leading to a special move. So something like this. You know, 22%, no meter. Um, this is going to be your main thing, especially on your first and third variation, uh, because it is a mix-up. You can go into your guns, which are low, and can be EX, or you can go into your overhead, and lead into the full combo, which is good. And then you got your punish. Uh, which in this variation it's not a combo variation, so you don't get very much for a punish. Going to your, I don't even think you get that. Oh, you do. So you get one one back forward too. Uh, and then you got your two four, which is your low starter. I don't think you get that on that. No, you do not get that on that. So it'd be something like back forward three, uh, fifteen percent no meter. And then you got your low starter. You don't want to do the whole string, but I think this one can actually. Wow, hold on. You can cancel it, so you're gonna want to do the whole string there and then cancel it into back forward two. And there's a combo. But you do have your low starter here. But your main combo uh, move is gonna be back one. It's gonna be the main move you want to use throughout the game. Whenever you want to try to start a combo or start a mix, you're gonna be wanting to using this in the neutral to try to catch people. Going in, go into that. Um, uh, your 1-1 one, one for your punishes, of course. And your 2-1 is like, when you don't have this, when you want to try to do like a whiff punish, it's not the best whiff punish, but uh, you can interrupt some shit, and it, it goes a good distance on that low. It's basically Joker's uh, club for his forward 1-4-2. So, uh, it's pretty good. You can go into your guns for the combo. EX that, you can go into the club. You can go into... Uh, this, uh, but let's actually talk about his special moves and his combos. So you got Guns Blazing, Blaze of Glory, Unholy Veil, Shatter and War Club, Fatal Phantasm, and Air Fallen Angel, which you're never going to use this shit. I've never, ever seen a good spawn use this move. Ever. So, I wouldn't even look at that one. Uh, but this is Guns Blazing. It's going to be your... It's not the best zoning uh, item. Great anti-air for mid screen. Someone's jumping in a lot. Use this. It'll hit them. They'll drop. You can EX it. Really good for that. Uh, then you got your Blazing Guns, which is a low. That's going to be used in your mix-ups. You can still EX it whether you hit it or not. Uh, for chip damage or just whiff damage. That's really good. You can also hold it for a low parry, I believe. I think it's only a low parry. Uh, yeah, it's a low parry. So you can hold it. If they were, if they down three a lot, hold it low parry. Pretty damn good. Uh, you can also cancel it for a meter for one bar. So going to something like this. God damn it. Something like that. That was weird looking. Something like this. 30%. But it can, it costs a defensive meter, which, I mean, if you're fine with... You're going to have to get fine with spending defensive meters on spawn. Uh, but it's got a startup... Guns Blazing has a startup of 23, and it's minus 8 on block. If you EX at your minus 21, it's got a startup of 22. So... It's not terrible. Uh, Blaze of Glory is a crushing blow. Uh, it's minus 17 on block, and it has a startup of 30. If you delay it, there's nothing really there. Cancel it, nothing really there. 
cost one far one bar expensive gauge. Uh, if you amplify it, it's startup of 22, and it's minus 21, so you're unsafe. Um, but it also they also last so long, Blaze of Glory and whatever the fucking other one was. Uh, a lot of people will stop blocking during the EX, trying to punish you for it, and they'll just get hit by the last couple bullets because uh, it's really confusing. Uh, but then you got Unholy Veil, vale, which is this. It's also a crushing blow. Uh, you can hold that one too, and you can also cancel it too. So you can do something like this. Which I don't know why you would, but yeah, when you can cancel the low guns and confuse them for the mix up again. If I can do it right. I keep doing that. Damn it. It's confusing. Welcome back, Spawn. So, you can do some shit like that. Can't combo that. Um, but yeah. And then you got uh, your shattering, Soul Shattering War Club, which is Armor Break, which is one of my favorite moves in the game. I play its third variation. It comes in handy more than I can even fucking say. It has a startup of 18. Um, it's minus 22 on block, so you are very unsafe. You can't amplify it unless you hit it. Um, it is a really good move on armor break. It's hard to show you what you can do. You can get a full combo if you EX it after they use uh, breakaway. So if you're if you do something like this. You go into this, they break away at the wrong time, so you throw out War Club and, you know, the War Club hits, you EX it. You give another full combo. So dash up, 2, 4, into uh, down back 3. It armor breaks, and if it armor breaks, it goes into a full combo. Um, and then you have your main combo ender for this variation, which is Fatal Phantasm. Uh, which has uh, got a startup of 20 and minus 22 on box, so you're really unsafe. Um, if you EX it, you can only EX it on hit. It is startup of 16, minus 74. So, I mean, minus 74 don't really matter there. Uh, but this is going to be, let's talk about his combos now. Uh, his main mid screen combo with this variation, when you get it, is going to be something like this. Not very fancy. Good fucking damage, though. Make the CPU break away. Uh, I can do that, it just, it's so hit or miss whether they actually will or not. Uh, but that's going to be your main B and B, I'd say, at mid screen. I don't think there's much more you can do there. I could be crazy, and there could be like some other tech, but as far as I've found, your main B and B is going to be this. You can not spend a meter to get 23 damage. Or you can spend the meter and get 30. Which, 1 meter for 30 damage is better than most characters get in MK, MK11. Uh, but your main goal with this character, just like the third variation, is going to be mixing. Um, we'll show his. We'll try to get the uh, AI to break away real quick and see if I can show that actual combo. You gotta turn it on random or it doesn't work. Want to see if I can, yeah. Want to see if I can get the full combo in. There we go. You spend two meters, but you get forty percent there. If you get them to break away at just the right time, but they're not always going to break away at the right time. So let's turn them on. Oops. Let's turn them on, on, and see what we can do with. You might just have to throw it out. Yeah. So you can just throw the EX move out off of that. And you can get the combo. 29% uh, one damage. Or 29% one bar. Shit. Shit. It's actually kind of rough to hit, but you can do it. Shit. Got 
dash up, spin one bar or two bars, you get 35%. But yeah, that's his armor break. Um, mainly what this character, what this character, what you're gonna want to do is mix. I mean, it's just gonna be a fucking mix parade. So you can do uh, your guns, your low guns. You just gonna be wanna wanna be mixing them. And you know, if they're blocking everything, they're getting chip damage. If they're not punishing you for the guns, or you're pushing them far enough away, if you're not in the corner, uh, you're getting a lot of chip damage on it. Um, you can keep doing it. E exit. Don't e exit a few times. It'll fuck with them. They'll hold it. You can jump up, do it again. E exit this time. They might think you're not gonna e exit again. Uh, shit like that. Um, and then if they don't block, of course you have you know your main B and B that you can go into, spin a meter. 30%. Um, you can also, of course, cancel it like I was showing, go back into a mix, going to your fucking combo, spend a defensive meter and one meter for 30%. Or you can do something like this. Shit. Something like that, or actually, you're probably better off doing that. Going back into the mix again, uh, which is really good. Uh, even on this, you can kind of like use the ship damage for it. You know, just knock them away, dude. Just whatever you want to do here. Double low. So, I mean, that's basically what this variation is. Using this to anti-air. Catching them with it. ex and it. Shit like that. That's basically this variation of this character. Uh, I don't think I'd ever use this in any situation. I don't think I would ever use it myself. Because it's like... Minus 17 on block and has a start up at 23, so people are going to see it coming from a mile away. It's nowhere near Kung, uh, Kung Lao's uh, dive in, so it's not really worth using in my opinion. But, I mean, I guess if you can fit it into the way you play, it's got some nice distance on the cape, I guess. But, besides that, I, it's unsafe as fuck. I wouldn't use it. Um, let's check out his crushing the blue combos real quick. And then we'll move to the corner. I put it on the wrong thing. Here you go, player two. Alright, so let's check out his crushing blows. What are his crushing blows in this variation? Uh, this is a crushing blow in this variation, but it has to parry a projectile. So if you parry a projectile, you get this. Dash up. Shit. You might not even need to dash there. But I'm going to. Just to be safe, dash up, crushing blow, 1 meter, 37%. You don't want to use the meter there, you still get 30%. So, 1 meter, 1 crushing blow, 30%, parry projectile. Pretty damn good. Um, this is also a crushing blow if, they, um, if it parries. So, if you parry a move, shit, if you parry a move, you're getting 25%, which is nice. And then that, that those are his only uh, crushing blows for his EX moves, but he does have this, which is a good crushing blow. Put that on. This is also a crushing blow. Uh, triggers if the third hit connects on its own, and triggers if it is a counter or a punish. And then, you, of course, you have your down two crushing ball. Okay, really. But there's your punish crushing blow. So someone throws out a really punishable move. You see it. Just punish it with 1-1, one, one, hold back to 29%, 30% combo. Uh, and on this, if you want to try to whiff punish someone. Shit. God, I have such a hard time with this. There's this. And you actually get a full combo on this one, which I have not mastered yet, but something like that, I guess, 30%. I'm sure you could do a lot more than that, but I just haven't figured out how yet. I haven't really cared to because I never use this move in an actual situation. But I'm sure you could do a lot with that. And then you got this down to crushing blow. Which is going to be really basic. You want to spend a meter, you get 
36%. If you don't want to spend the meter, you get 30%. So basically, all around it's 30%, which isn't terrible. Isn't the best in the world, but isn't terrible. Um, so yeah, that's basically this character in the mid screen with all his combos. So let's check out his corner shoot. Um, so basically it's just going to be the same thing in the corner. You do have this long ass back one that is a mid to actually continue getting people with in the corner. Um, which is really nice. Uh, just to continue pressuring in the corner. Um, you Also, this move is a resand. So, okay, imagine I just finished the combo. Or I'll just go ahead and finish one. This is a restand. You can do pretty much anything off of this restand. Uh, I like to grab off of it. So, throw off of it. Also, we'll talk about his grab crushing blow because it is in the corner. But you can grab off of it. You can go into your low off of it. It's not a great restand to the point where they can't press down one or down two on it. You go for the grab, but they can down two your ass there. Uh, it's happened to me way too many fucking times. But it's a restand. You can go back into your back one if you want to. If they want to try to press not real buttons that they can actually press and they're standing, then you can get this for your punish if you haven't used it yet. But overall, it's not a bad restand. A uh, uh, crushing blow combo is basically a meteorless 25 to 35% combo. Yeah, pretty much. So in the corner, uh, his combos really don't change. You get that into the restand, continue pressure. So this would be like a main combo into his restand because that's what you're going to want to do. Something like this, you know. Or basically, it's just going to revolve around fucking with the other person. Restands and fucking with them a lot. You know, something like that. Back into the restand, no meter. Okay, going to the overhead this time. Back into the restand. One more time. And then end it. And they're more than likely dead by then. And I've people can say, oh, well, you can't count on that working or anything else. I've literally done that online against people in the top 1,000 and flawless them two rounds in a row. So, people saying that Spawn's rescan is terrible are fucking liars because it's nowhere near terrible. It's a really okay restand. It works. Um, but off your crushing blow in the corner. I mean, it's basically just going to do the same shit. You can't even really do it. I mean, you might be able to do that in the corner. Maybe. Hold on. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't even think you can do that. It's basically just going to be the same thing. Restand. Keep your restand. Now, your big damage is going to come off of, and this is the last thing we're going to talk about for this variation, because it's very simple, this variation is, I feel. It's basically just canceling this, keeping pressure going, uh, chipping them to death with that move, uh, and shit like that. But this is going to be your big damage shit in the corner. If someone's got you in the corner and pressuring you, you can get a crushing, bro crushing blow with a forward throw if your back is against the corner from a certain distance. So from this, you can do something like this. One meter and a crushing blow, 50%. Uh, you can also fatal blow there. So some shit like that. You can fatal blow into the corner off of, you know, your basic launcher. Uh, you're not getting joker damage out of it, which is unfortunate, but you're still getting 44%. But the tech is this. <laughs> Now you're getting Joker damage. Fatal blow, crushing blow in the corner. Which, when you got your fatal blow, if you're getting your ass kicked, that's more likely when you're gonna have when you're gonna be in the corner and you have a chance for that crushing blow. So I'm getting my ass beat. My health is about realistic over here in the corner. You know, I get a lucky forward throw because he wants to pressure me and he's got to press the button. So I get that jump in. He doesn't have his breakaway. He's fucking dead if his health is below fucking half. So, really, really good crushing blow. Probably one of the best in the game. 
in my opinion. And, you know, off your other crushing blows, you can combo in the fatal blow. It's not the best shit, but it works. Actually, this might be better for that. No, that actually isn't real. Never mind. So you can do something like that. I think it's still 50 doing the unbreakable version. Uh, what do you mean? So, I mean, that's 48 in the corner off of that, off of a down two crushing blow, uh, into a fatal blow, and then you got, if I can hit this one, we'll try. Yeah, I could probably hit that in the corner at least. Damn, I had it. Damn, I had it. Damn it. So, something like that. Uh, you think it's still 50 doing the unbreakable version off the corner crushing blow. Uh, so, off the breakaway? We actually do need to try that in the corner, the breakaway, because it is a it is a launcher, it is a breakaway combo. Shit, dude. Shit. I'm dropping frames. Damn it. Okay. I guess I'm not doing back forward. I'm having a hard time hitting this one in the corner. Wow. I just went straight over him. No, uh, so instead of jump one into, yo, what's up, Jamal? Instead of, uh, jump one into back one two, just do jump one into forward two, one, uh, fagel blow. Yeah, that's probably pretty good, too. Ah, it didn't come out. So if you know they're gonna armor break in the corner... Use your back forward two meter burn it. You're spending one meter with your fatal blow and getting fucking over forty percent, almost fifty percent. So that's really fucking good, dude. God damn it! I hate this move. I hate it. Even right there, you could probably. I fucked it up. God damn, I hate this move. Thinking I'm gonna just play Kung Lao Sindel Joker, like and I'm the most right now. I thought about learning Kung. Uh, I'm obviously learning Kung Lao now, but uh, before I started doing this series, I thought about learning Kung Lao. I think I can actually get some bullshit there. One meter. Hold up. Off that crushing blow. If I hit it right. This could be the tech right here, boys. Damn it. You see what I'm trying to do here, spawn? Oh. Maybe. Hold on. I have an idea. Oh, damn, the button mashing is real. Yes, it is. Oof. Dude, just imagine if you could hit that. If you could hit the uh, armor break there, if you know they're going to break away in it. Hit the armor break, meter burn it, 2-4, fable blow. I just don't know if you can hit it where it puts you in the air. Shit. 
I don't think you can hit it. I wish you could. A better player might be able to hit that. I don't think it will work that way, honestly. Dude, imagine if it did, though. But yeah, you can do a multitude of things off of this. This is going to be your most damaging combo. You can keep it unbreakable. I fucked that up. You can keep it... Uh, fuck. You can keep it unbreakable. And just... <clears throat> jump to forward two, three... Shit. Hold up. Jump two, forward two, three... Uh... Fatal blow. I want to hit it real quick, actually. And then we'll go on to the second variation, his combo variation. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is still over 52. Yeah, it is. Definitely. For sure. Yep. 54. So, I mean, that's still really good. And you keep it unbreakable. I forget what this one is, so we'll hit it real quick. I want to see how much damage it does. Oh yeah, they got brain line. <laughs> Wait, actually, bro, you could you could get some more damage on that shit. Hold up. Hold up. You know they're gonna break away? Watch this shit. It might take me a minute, but we got this. It might take me a minute, but we got this. Why isn't that coming out? Jesus fucking Christ. It wouldn't come out, bro. I goofed. I didn't gel it right. Damn, man. I can't get it to come out. Damn, so close. I'm really curious about this combo. Here we go. 43% already. If they break away. Fifty-seven. I never do back one two and variation one or three off a uh, corner crushing bluff. See, I wouldn't do it unless I know they got their breakaway, and I'm like, okay, well, they're going to break away. I can fucking land this, depending on when they break away. I can get more damage or less damage. 